Hey folks, this is Saiyan Chan. The title of today's episode is Men Must Get Their Passports. I wanted to make this video now after nearly two years of my channel because sometimes it's good to go back to the basics. And as you guys know, I try to make it a point to talk to guys earning average income and even below average earning income in the Anglo Western English speaking countries generally, United States of America, Canada, England, and Australia. And while you guys see the examples of my work, bachata dancing, salsa dancing, pretty girls, Colombia, Mexico, traveling internationally, speaking Spanish, and generally having a good time in life, I know that there are a lot of guys who are down bad, and this kind of stuff is just scarcely imaginable, it's kind of alien, they don't quite get it, and it all seems to be just kind of a fantasy that you know you might be watching vicariously through YouTube, and my, my point is that you guys can start joining us too. It's, it's completely possible, it's completely realistic, but instead of trying to see what I'm doing as an example and thinking, oh no, this is impossible, it's too much for me, no way, you can start with the first step, which is to get your passport. And a friend and uh, a mentor of mine, well, I was talking to, he says, hey, uh, while your stuff is great, you sometimes need to bring it back to the basics. So that's what I'm going to do in this episode. So the first point is for you guys who need to be asked and gently encouraged, I'd say, okay, get your passports. Now is the time. Please get your passports. It's not too hard. You could do a Google search, do a YouTube search. Plenty of people will be walking you through the process of uh, getting yourself a passport. And it's like a major life unlock, which enables you to then focus on the steps following that, which is saving enough money, getting a plane ticket, going, uh, and, and then physically getting onto a plane and going to another country. But it all starts with a passport. Unless you have a passport, it doesn't, uh, it doesn't mean any of this. Nothing means anything. And even if you can't afford to travel, still get your passport. And what you want to do with that passport is for your mobile phone, you're going to take a photo of that passport and you're going to put it on your, as your phone background or as your computer background or put the passport in front of your computer or next to your keyboard so you look at it every single freaking day as motivation and inspiration for you to start traveling internationally that and you put it in front of you that that is your goal and that you're determined to make it happen and it all started with the first step which you completed already getting your passport. So guys, for you guys who need to be asked and who need gentle encouragement, please, I'm asking you as your Asian godfather, please go and get your passport if you haven't already. The second point for you guys who need to be told what to do, okay, your Asian godfather is telling you, Go and get your passport. Don't worry about anything else. Don't about don't worry about brushing your teeth. Don't worry about taking a shower or, or eating food. Right? Go look up Google. Go look up YouTube and understand the exact processes to to get your passport. It's just over a hundred bucks. It involves taking a photo and some documentation, filling out a form, and that's about it. And in a couple of weeks, they'll just mail it to you. Don't wait till just before your trip and have to expedite the process and pay more money in the process and be all stressed having to get your passport because you don't have one. Get one now. Even if your next international trip might might be a year or two away, get the passport now. Stop dilly-dallying. Stop procrastinating. Get the freaking passport. Okay? And then, so for you guys who don't understand how immensely powerful the passport is, all you have to do is search up uh, Brazil Yesh and his YouTube channel. Shout out to Brazil Yesh. You can see examples where he highlights on his channel of women that are completely melting down at the fact that men are accorded so much freedom and power to just pick them, pick themselves up and then go build another life and, and date, travel, marry, form a family internationally in other countries like Brazil, 
and Colombia, the Philippines, Thailand, wherever, and people are having an absolute meltdown. So once you see that and you and you realize what a lot of the women are thinking, then you're going to realize, holy cow, the passport is just ridiculously powerful. And I don't know how long you guys were prevented from being able to obtain your passport during the recent... <coughs> dark times where all the government functions were closed. Take advantage of the opportunity now where it still exists and things are still open and get your passport. While you guys were locked down and prevented from uh, doing anything by your government, in September of 2020, the moment Colombia opened up, I was down there. While Americans were locked up, Starting from September of 2020, I traveled to Colombia five times in the span of a year, having a great time doing what I was normally doing, salsa dancing, traveling throughout the country, going to Cali. Things were a bit more muted, but I certainly wasn't locked down. Why? Because I had my passport and I was able to travel. Go figure. Immense power and freedom. Also related to this immensely powerful, oh my God, the... The, having a passport and experiencing what for, foreign women are like can drastically and completely change the direction of your entire mating, dating, and family for, formation strategy and life trajectory forever. It, it's happened to me and it's happened to more and more men in the passport movement, the passport bros. All of us are saying, holy moly, I wish we could have done this sooner. As a guy who got his passport when he was three years old, yes, that's right. I got my passport and started traveling three years old with my mom because she got me uh, my passport when I was three so that I could travel back to Malaysia with her every summer when I was starting from the, when I was three, at, at worst, four years old. But you guys get the idea. And I've been traveling nonstop ever since. Okay, sometimes there were a year or two breaks in between international travel, but for the most part, it's been pretty continuous since the time I was three, despite coming from a family that was not rich at all. Why do I bring this up? I bring this up because when you travel, you're going to be able to, to see how other people live and think and behave and what their expectations are in different parts of the world, and you're going to be able to compare it with the system that is in your home countries like spending going back to southeast asia when i was when i was a child i got to see and understand that outside of the usa multi-generational families were common we had under the same roof four generations i got to meet my great grandma the grandma and grandpa my mom and me four generations under one roof where my mom grew up uh, with with three or four generations, two, um, three bedroom house for about twelve people with one toilet, right? And th these were very very modest conditions. But I understood from there that, hey, this model of people combining resources, lowering the greatest um, expense of life, which is generally rent or a mortgage and, and consolidating resources in this manner and looking after each other. No one's lonely. Everyone's taken care of. Uh, no one gets thrown out in the street. Money, while tight, it, it's okay because people aren't trying to do this kind of independent American, uh, strong independent kind of living. I realized as a young man, uh, when I became an adult, I said to myself, understanding what how, what the rent rental prices were like in New York City, where I'm from, I said, holy cow, this is a scam. Thank God I learned in Southeast Asia as a child that living with your family can be a completely viable and good option. While it may not be uh, a normal option or average option in the United States of America, and some people might look at you a little bit funny, at least I, I got to witness it and decide for myself and decide to stay home during college, decide to stay in my parents' basement after college until I moved out of my house only when I was around 25 years old to go live in Midtown Manhattan. And then when I discovered Colombia and I knew that I would have no marriage, no kids, 
and my future, long-term future, no matter how long it took me to, to get there, would be in Colombia, I said to myself, there's no completely no point in wasting money on rent in in the middle of Manhattan, midtown Manhattan. Imagine how much that costs. So what I do, I pack my suitcases and, and my stuff, and I move my, my, my uh, 28-year-old self right back into my parents' basement. And have I regretted it since then? Absolutely not. And it's been, uh, let's just say that, uh, <laughs> I'll talk about it in a future video, but living without financial stress is a complete game changer, where every month the, the numbers only go up never down all right so without the passport and without having the benefit of being able to travel internationally with the passport and being able to get these reference experiences to be able to compare and see how flawed american culture and expectations and norms and and um, and how to be able to determine for myself that what we have here is basically a trap especially for average earning men like, if I hadn't gotten my passport, my life would be completely different. So I hope this encouragement, this demand, and also this little backstory about my life has given you more clarity as to the next step you should take with regards to getting your passport. And that is, uh, go get your passport, okay? Uh, I don't know how much more I can say it. If any of you guys need help with organizing your life or with planning a trip to Colombia safely, Please email Saiyan Chan at protonmail.com. Saiyan Chan Life Coaching and Consulting is now available for my YouTube viewers, but will be launching officially soon. Everyone else, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. This is Saiyan Chan signing off, reminding us all to always cogitate and analyze.